I think World Press Photo obviously represents the world and the United States should be part of this tour. This brings the world to us and it's, I want to know what's going on out there. You see photos like on a TV screen or on your tablet or on your phone and it's very quick and it's just like flashes and then you really don't think about it. But when you see these huge prints in front of you and you actually take the time to read it and understand their context and what they are saying, to see it in front of you at such like a scale and with such clarity uh, and beauty because they are beautiful pictures really puts it into an interesting and different perspective. You see how people are struggling, how fortunate I am and people here in Los Angeles are. So you kind of you have to have a better understanding and more compassion for what people are feeling in other parts of the world. You have a city with 11 million people. For some reason, the World Press Photo has only been here once at a university. And this time it's in the center of town in Beverly Hills, accessible, uh, viewable to the public. So uh, we expect uh, quite a nice number of visitors. These images and these stories help to give the real story of what's really going on. And that we have more alike, uh, we're more in common than we really realize despite where we grew up, despite where we live, despite the skin color. I'd really like to come back and make it even like a family tradition because I'm here with my family and these really mean a lot and I'm, I'm really looking forward to what they bring back this year. I'll definitely tell people to come visit.